how in the actual, like, how do you style this? Okay, how do you make a blanket scarf work? Like, what, what is this? Right. Like how does how do people make these work? Oh, maybe I choke myself a little bit. Like okay, and then uh, uh, maybe like this. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Ah. Mmm. Gotcha. I'm not going. Okay, you can do this. Maybe like one here. No. Okay, you got this, girl. This. This. Seems right. This feels right. This feels right. Okay, like that. This is cute. Like, I don't know. I need to phone a friend and be like, is this cute? All right, whatever, it's, it's happening. This blanket scarf is happening. It's giving me the Christmas vibes that I need for this video, and I need it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Heather, welcome. And if you've been hanging around for a while and you have not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. Like, why aren't you subscribing? Hmm? Trying to hurt my feelings? Today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to stay on track with your health and fitness goals during the holidays. So this one is actually really important to me because I always travel for the holidays. I go back home to my mother's house and all my family and friends gather. That's like the home base. We always celebrate with lots of food, lots of uh, brownies and just all the amazing pies and cakes and all the good stuff, cookies, all the fun stuff. So I have to really make sure that I am staying on track for my health and fitness goals when I'm back home. Here are a couple things that I like to do that help me stay on track. So the first thing I wanna mention is just remember that your weight loss journey, your fitness goals, your health goals are yours. No one else's. Whatever journey you're on, you know, you're on it. You do you. Don't let anyone else sabotage you. Um, sometimes people do that. They don't mean to, you know. They're just like, oh, you know, why won't you have another glass of wine with me? Or I made all these cookies, like have another. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, enjoy yourself. Have a great time. But just don't let anyone else peer pressure you into, you know, eating something you don't want or drinking something you, you don't want or making you feel a certain way about whether you take time out for yourself to go work out or take a walk or whatever. So just remember that don't let anyone else sabotage you. Do you girl and stay true to you. Another thing that I try to remember is to not to bring attention to my health and fitness goals while I'm home or while I'm with family and friends because you don't want people to just kind of like focus in on that um, you don't want that to be like the surrounding topic because then more people will want to like ask you about it, talk to you about it, uh, make it a big old thing. And it's just better to just kind of keep it to yourself. You know, if somebody notices that you're, you know, you're choosing like healthier options or like you're making time to go work out, by all means, explain what you've been up to, what your fitness goals are, whatever. But I suggest not really bringing attention to it because sometimes that just brings awkwardness they kind of feel a certain way about it for themselves. Um, and also you have those family members or like friends who they don't necessarily wanna sabotage you like on purpose, but they want you to join in on their indulgence and just kind of have to remember that not everybody is on the same path as you in life and not everybody can understand what you might be up to. So I just wouldn't really talk about it or bring it up or make it a big old thing and just on about the holiday, the experience with your family and friends like you normally would, but just kind of keep it to yourself if, if you can. That kind of also brings me into the point of not letting your family and friends peer pressure you into drinking alcohol 
if that's not on like your diet plan. Um, I know a lot of times when I'm with my family and friends, alcohol is totally involved and it's so much fun, you know, having a drink or two with family. Um, but just remember that you don't have to do those things. If you want to have a glass of wine, have a glass of wine, you know, enjoy yourself. But just remember that every cocktail that you drink is pretty high in calories. For me personally, I would rather eat my calories than drink my calories. So cocktail is kind of the same as like a brownie or a cookie. So personally, girl, like I'd rather have that brownie than drink that beer, but you do you, you know? So just remember that, keep that in mind. Another important one is making time for yourself. Have some sort of physical activity, whether that be going to the gym or, you know, taking your family dog on a walk or having a dance party in the kitchen with all of your family while you're cooking. Um, just really focus on making sure that you get in some type of physical exercise. That way you're not so sedentary because I know you know, especially for me and my family, we love watching movies. We love sitting around on the couch talking or playing card games. And that means that's a lot of sitting. That's a lot of just doing nothing. And so just making sure that you make time to you know, move your legs, move your body, maybe do get a little sweated. I suggest, you know, making an effort to make time for yourself to move your body. And this one, I mean, that one kind of goes along with healthy habits that have changed my life. Um, that's something that I included into my life and my routine. So if, I mean, if you've missed that video, I can link it. That way you can watch that video and kind of see like the healthy habits that have really changed my life. But, and some of these are definitely included in this, but it's really important to just get that movement in. That way you're not so sedentary. Okay, so the next one is to treat yourself. Don't feel like because you're on a health and fitness journey that you can't indulge in the cookies, the brownies, the pies, all the things that you love, you enjoy normally, definitely have some, you know? Don't feel like you can't. Enjoy that brownie. Just don't eat 12 brownies like I used to. You know, just have one or two brownies. Don't overdo it. Have some portion control. Be mindful of what and how much you're eating. Um, but definitely treat yourself, girl. You deserve it. Reward yourself. Have that brownie. Don't stress about it. Another thing that I have to remind myself when I'm back home is to stay hydrated. Um, this one is really important because when you're dehydrated, you actually feel hungry versus feeling thirsty. It's a really weird concept, I know, but it's like true. So <laughs> try to remember to drink lots of water, stay hydrated. That way you're not actually overeating because you feel hungry when you're actually just thirsty. Oh, oh my God, this one's a big one. Okay, portion control when it comes to like your holiday dinner. Like for instance, we usually have the same Christmas dinner that we have for Thanksgiving. Um, but instead of having turkey, sometimes we just have ham, which is oh, so good. But portion control, like don't fill your plate up like a volcano, you know, be mindful of how much you're eating. Like for me, I want to eat everything. So I understand how your plate can get really full and big, but just sample it, sample everything. Just have a small portion of everything. That, that way you don't feel like you're missing out. Um, but just... <laughs> Don't overeat, don't get too crazy. Um, honestly, like in the past, I used to eat so much, like me and my family, like my sister and my brother and me, we would eat so much, like we would go back like three or four times and we would actually end up like unbuttoning our pants and being like in a food coma on the couch afterwards. So just be mindful of how much you're eating, just portion control, make sure, making sure that you're not overeating. You know, don't, don't restrict yourself on anything. At least I don't. I don't restrict myself on anything. I let myself have whatever I want. I just make sure that I'm eating a smaller amount than I used to eat. That way I'm actually getting everything I want, but I'm still being very mindful of how much I'm eating. Okay, so the last one is don't listen to unsolicited advice. And this one is really hard for my family because everyone has an opinion. And I love my family for that. I love that they want to be involved and they want to help me in any way that they can um, with everything in life, which is so amazing. But it's important to remember that not everybody's goals or health and fitness or their physique or their diet 
is the same. What works best for one person might not work best for you. And so if somebody notices that you've lost weight and they want to talk to you about what you've been doing and you start, you start up that conversation and then they want to talk about like their fad diet, what they think works best for everyone. Um, just kind of nod and smile and go along with it. You know, I don't really encourage debating that with family and friends anymore. I don't think it's important to do. You know, your diet, your health and fitness, your goals are your own. So just kind of nod and smile and, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. Um, if keto works for them, great. If uh, vegan works for them, great. You know what I mean? Like, do you do what you know stay true to you i feel like a lot of people just always have input or advice when it comes to weight loss and diets so i just remember to focus on myself and remember that what i've been doing has been working best for me and to not let anybody tell me what's the best way to go about losing weight you know just do you stay true to you okay guys so that is it for this video i hope that it was interesting for you in some way or helped you in some way definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you have a really great holiday wherever you may be um enjoy yourself girl eat that brownie don't feel bad about it don't stress too much just enjoy yourself have fun with your family and friends and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys oh my god it's so hot who thought this was a good idea? Who, why in my mind did I decide to wear a sweater with a blanket scarf sitting next to a fire drinking hot coffee? I am literally about to have a heat flash. Ugh. Well, this is a look. <laughs> Wait, is this the way? Oh my God, I had it so cute before I ruined it. Hello? Some hello? Oh. Today's video, stop! Oh my God. She's in the tree. Stop. Ugh. You. This whole time. You were being so ornery in my video. What were you doing climbing in the tree, hmm?